Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, you will learn step by step method how to create or schedule a recurring meeting in Microsoft Outlook. As a disclosure, currently I'm using Microsoft Outlook 365 and I want to show you the step by step method. So there are two methods to create a meeting. First method is click on the home tab and you will see in the new section, there is an option new items. Click on it. You will get few options here. Your meeting is here. You can click on it or you can also use control shift Q keyboard shortcut to open the meeting dialog box. When I click on it, I am forwarded to the initial form of meeting creation window. So here you have to enter the information first. So from the, from the beginning, my email address is already selected. If I want to change the email address from my listed email addresses added in my Outlook, I can also use this from drop down and you can change the email address from here. And the next step is title. So I add meeting on progress. Now the next is required. That means the people or the colleagues you want to add or you want to require in the meeting, you can use this section or you can also click on this required, which will directly take me to the address book where you can select the email addresses. So say if I want to add this as a required, so just double click on it, it will automatically add it here. So you can use optional. So click on this optional and your email will be added here. Click OK. Both the emails are added. Now the next step is you have to add the start time and end time. So the date I want to start my meeting on 16th. Timing is say 12. And the end time is automatically taken by Microsoft Outlook. The meeting gap is 30 minutes. You can increase the timing if you want. So I make it 14, the two hours gap. Now the point is, if I want to make it recurring, there are two options, or two ways to make it. First, there is an option make recurring, click on it. Or you can also use this recurring button, which is available on the meeting tab. When I click on it, appointment recurring dialog box appears. Although you are creating a meeting, but appointment recurring dialog box, it doesn't matter. There are three sections, appointment time, which you have already entered here, 12 to 14, two hours gap. You can also reschedule here. Second option is recurring pattern. And the third option is range of recurring. These are two different approaches. If you use recurring pattern, range of recurring doesn't work. And if you use range of recurring, the recurring pattern doesn't work. So there are four options. You can make your meeting recurring on the daily basis, on the weekly basis, on the monthly basis, and on the yearly basis as well. So I want my meeting on the weekly basis. So all I have to do, I have to fill some information here. Recurring every one week, two week, you can change it according to your, according to yourself. And the point is, you have to select the day. All the days, Sunday to Saturday, is, are available. You have to select the day on which you want to set your meeting. In the weekly segment, this is the inputs. But if you want to make the recurring meeting on the monthly basis, you will select this monthly. You have to enter the day, say 22nd of every one month. Or you can use this option also, the first, second, third, fourth, last, say second Thursday of every first month. These are two patterns you can use to make your meeting as a recurring. Last one is yearly, which is again recurring every one year on, you can choose the, the month. I choose August 22nd, say. This is the first method and second method is on the 
third Wednesday of month. You can choose this. With this, you can also set up the date. And the last one is daily, which is every first day or ninth day or two days. It doesn't matter. Every weekend, you can also use this. Every first day means the day starts from Saturday. So if you use every first day, that means the meeting will be automatically set on Saturday. Now this is the simple information you can enter while creating your recurring meeting. Next is range of recurring. If you want to, first you have to set up the start date, say 22nd of August, end by, you can set up the end date here, or you can choose this end after 79 occurrences. You can use 10 occurrences. That means every month on the same date, your meeting will be scheduled up to the 10th occurrences. And you can use the last option, which is no end date. There is infinity. The meeting will be continuously scheduled as per outlook until you close the meeting and simply hit OK. Now click OK. Everything is set. Recurring every day, effective 22nd of August 2023 from 12 to 14. This is all set. Now you can add your location. You can select this location button. You can set the location here or you can manually add the location. Enter the content of the meeting. You can add your information. You can add some attachments here and simply hit send button now once you send this email the email will be added in your calendar as well as your recipient calendar as well i will show you like this do you want to send the meeting request without the location which is not a problem i'll send anyway now see my mail is sent to my recipient now i will show you how it look like so I hit my calendar button over here. Now see, see, I have added on the daily basis. So you will see from starting from 22nd, 23rd, 24th, every day the, my meeting will be scheduled. That way you can use this method of recurring meeting from Outlook and you can not miss any important event or any discussion with your colleague or your boss or your friends if you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you